So quite a few of you guys have been asking for my personal opinion about this update. Now I'm talking about the Roblox QR code update. This is something that's been on the Roblox app for quite a while now, but I think finally it's like publicly released and available for everyone. This works on Android and iOS as well, so all of your iPhones and stuff. And pretty much what this does is let you open up your Roblox app. You can very quickly get a QR code. And if you share this with somebody, so if they scan it using their iPhone or Android's camera app, then they can basically just go over to your profile. Like that's literally it. It's nothing really that exciting. Now Blox News covered it. They said Roblox is testing a new feature on the mobile app that allows you to share your profile by generating a QR code. When someone scans your QR code, they will be instantly taken to your profile where they can send a friend request. So it's kind of similar to Snapchat, WeChat, maybe a few other applications. And yeah, I tested it out on Blox News's profile. So as you can see here, I opened up my camera app, I scanned it, it opened up with a Roblox Roblox link, I was able to go over to the Roblox app and yeah, that's basically it. You can either add them as a friend, you can view their profile, you can go to their full profile if you want to. And honestly, that's all it does. I feel like quite a lot of people are very excited over this, but it's probably like one of the most boring updates I've seen in a while. Like, I've got to be honest, it's very mundane, it's not very exciting. And on the subject of Roblox QR codes, do you guys remember in April of last year, yeah, in 2022, Roblox released this QR code and and they basically sent it to tons of YouTubers, developers, all of those types of people. And so they were asking us to share it with our fans. So as you can see, Blocks News tweeted about it. They said, scan this QR code for a surprise. Now this one was more interesting than the friends thing, because when you scanned this, you got a free lead clothing t-shirt. And yeah, I liked this. It was pretty cool. However, guys, the problem was people started making fake ones and spreading them about. Like this one, for example, from Coral. Now, luckily, this isn't anything malicious. This was just like a meme on imager or something. But yeah, you can clearly see scanning random QR codes on the internet is not really a good idea. Here's another one from the Hellfire Club. I'm pretty sure this one was a Rick roll, but if you guys want to try it, go for it. But yeah, the point I'm trying to make is be careful, guys. Don't simply go around scanning random QR codes that people send you. Back in April last year, when all of this was going down, I did hear about one going around Discord that would actually redirect people to like a fake version of the Roblox login screen. And obviously, when they went to log in, to their accounts, all of their info, you know, password, cookie, all of that was stolen. The trouble is, people can just go on websites like this, QR code generators, you can put any link in here. So let me use my Roblox profile for an example. And there you go, I can download a JPEG and I've got my own QR code. It's kind of funny how Roblox is advertising this as like a new sort of technology app feature, but QR codes have been around for absolutely decades. Oh, here we go. I found an old tweet from Asil. He was saying he doesn't really know about the Roblox QR code thing because somebody can just create a QR code looking similar to the free VIP accessory and they can just use that to trick people into getting people cookie logged. Yeah, all of these like Roblox QR code updates just really seem like a big upcoming Roblox disaster to me. Yeah, so as we can see here in paint.net, I just made my own custom one and even though I put this image here, surprisingly enough, it still works. So just keep in mind guys, people can modify them to make them look cooler and you know, they're still going to send you to links. So you definitely have to be very cautious and very, very careful of this kind of stuff. Honestly, the best advice I can give you, if someone wants to add you on Roblox, just ask for their profile. Like, don't go and click links or scan QR codes. Literally ask for their username in text and yeah, you can't really get hacked over that. But anyway, guys, that's basically it. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you want to. Cheers for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.